This is Takeharaya Chanel. This rope is my English learning journey. Today, I will tell you my story about my new music listening setup. I always set my audio interface sample rate to 48 kHz when I record a podcast, do the Teams meeting, and Slack huddle on my Windows laptop. However, recently I, want to, I wanted to listen to high resolution music on Apple Music because they have 24 bit, 192 kHz music files. So, I set my audio interface sample rate to 192 kHz. But after that, I was in trouble using the Slack huddle. It seems to be processing my voice on Slack, but it didn't send my voice to the meeting participants. I often looked it up online, but I didn't find the reason. So I returned to 48 kHz sample rate. When I want to listen to music, I always play the music player on my Mac. But It cannot connect to speakers directly because my Mac has only a USB TDC, SMSL P100 Pro, that connects to my audio interface via an optical cable. Even if I changed the sample rate to 192 kHz on USB TDC, it connects to my audio interface, which is set to 48 kHz. So, I cannot listen to high resolution music, right? Of course, I can listen to high resolution music if I change the audio interface sample rate each time I want to. But I felt it was not easy to use for me. I said earlier if I change the audio interface sample rate, I cannot use Slack Huddle. So I thought about my audio setup. First, I like my audio interface's microphone preamp. So if I wanted to use my microphones, I definitely decided to use this one. In my situation, I need to connect my audio interface to a Windows laptop. But I don't have to play some sound on my Windows laptop via speakers, so I thought I wanted to buy an audio interface or a DAC for my Mac Studio. I want to listen to high resolution music, so I decided to buy a DAC. After that, I watched a lot of reviews on YouTube and I read a lot of documents about many products. At last, I decided on the product which I bought. So I bought the same Maker's Duck SMSL DO300EX as my USB DDC. It apparently uses the flagship Duck from AKM AK4191 plus AK4499EX. But I don't know what it means. I'm not a sound expert, so I might not realize it makes a good sound, but it will sound better than before I thought. Because it also has a great headphone out and power amplifier for speakers. I will change the speakers connected from my audio interface to the new DAC. I can use the Toslink connect between my audio interface and the new DAC to play sound on my Windows laptop to speakers. I thought it was a perfect setup for me, but I had a problem when I started using it. It made noise at the start whenever I changed the application or played the YouTube video or soundtrack on music app. It was a short noise like I looked for a reason for it on the internet and found the word popping noise. Sometimes 
the duck makes a poppy noise when I play sounds apparently. However, I had never heard of it on my audio interface, so I was confused. I can reproduce it 100%, so I inquired to the seller last weekend about this problem. For now, I recorded the phenomenon, so I will show you. I sent this film file to them. After that, they answered me that it was normal by design. I thought I had to send it back to them so I felt too sad. But I couldn't give it up so I looked up some solution to fix it online. But I couldn't. However, fortunately, I found a review about the same duck on YouTube, and also I sent my situation to him. He answered me soon that he didn't have a problem using it when he used an optical cable connection. Then I got a new idea, so I did it. At first, my USB DDC is SMSL PO100 Pro. So it has a few output ports, an optical, coaxial, and I2S, HDMI. And of course it has a single USB input port. So I changed the connection method between my Mac Studio and the new DAC. I unplugged the USB cable from my DAC and connected it to the DDC. Next, I connected my DAC to the DDC via an optical cable. Last, I changed an input signal setting on my DAC to optical from USB. Finally, I could stop the poppy noise. I got it. In addition, I tried to to change the cable to a coaxial one, and it can also get a noiseless sound even this way. Incidentally, I tried to use an I2S HDMI cable, but it made a noise. Why? Both products include the same Exmos UXU316 USB chip, but it in this setting, I could get a noiseless environment, which I don't know why. It was an interesting phenomenon for me, but this was the only way to avoid returning my duck. By the way, I cannot recognize the quality of sound from the new duck so far, but I'm satisfied because I got the new gadget. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit thumbs up button and subscribe. See you.